Hi, so today in this video, I'm going to show you how static code analysis can be helpful in determining XSS vulnerabilities. So right now, I'm on this website with a chatting functionality and it was on the basis of WebSockets and let me try using my access payloads in the nickname field. So let's just try confirming whether we can use special characters or not by using just these and let's see what happens. And look, it is so quick, it responds back so quick. So this must not have been sent back from the server, right? This must be from the static front-end code. So let's just try finding this string, right, and an alphanumeric name in the source. Let's just press F12 and open up developer consoles. And you can see this, it goes sources, and you can see this. When I click on this, it shows, right, an alphanumeric name. And you can see this, there is this string present here, and it is in this else. So what if there is this? What if there is alphanumeric character in the nickname so it executes these things in that case right you can just copy this thing and now what if I try executing this myself and I try this okay let me just copy this first and let me try using my access payload okay I'm going to try iframe src equals javascript a lot and let me just try doing this and continue and you can see this okay it is showing that and now I'm going to execute this myself look and there is this pop-up and now let's try using this let's try seeing if this is for everyone or just me okay so let me try opening let me try using document name in the incognito mode and let me try using beneath and let me try sending a message hello beneath and you can see it executes right over here in this page as well. It executes for the victim as well. That is it. So that's how static code analysis can be helpful in finding excess vulnerabilities. I hope you got the point and I hope you will start doing static code analysis from now to determine excess vulnerabilities. That can really be so useful. That is really so useful. And you must do static code analysis. So that's all for this video. And I hope you will keep following up for next videos so thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye